am a self-described Apple fanboy, right? Like, I had the first iPhone when it came out. I have a Mac Pro sitting in my bedroom. Granted, it's a much older Mac Pro. I believe it's 2008, I have a MacBook Pro 17 inch. And in all honesty, I was thinking about buying a new MacBook this year. But then, after seeing what Apple has to offer in their computer lineup, I'm slightly disillusioned. And to be honest, I've been feeling that way for a while. But this latest generation of MacBooks really... I don't know, it, it kind of made me think that I'm done with Apple. For the main reason that I, the, the, the main reason I would buy an Apple product is because they were, they're always ahead of their time. But, in this case, I have a feeling that it's more gimmick than anything. Because, like, I have my, uh, my old Penryn MacBook Pro, right? And that computer, even today, is good enough for me to edit videos on, and my, my 64 gig Mac Pro is perfect for me to do, you know, the basic stuff. Edit videos, and just do my thing, like, and code a bit. But this newest line of MacBooks has lost some of the best features I feel that a Mac ever had. And one of them is MagSafe. Now, I have both a Windows and a Mac laptop. I have a Dell Inspiron. It's a 17-inch Dell Inspiron. I can't remember what it is. It's 16 or 8. I don't know. I don't really use that computer for anything except for maybe homework assignments. And the thing is, it hasn't held up anywhere near as well as my MacBook. I would have bought an Apple laptop just for MagSafe. The MagSafe charger saved me so much money in terms of repairing a computer or buying a new computer from, you know, tripping over the charging port. Because right now, my Inspiron, you have to be, I've repaired the charge port three, four times. So MagSafe has been a dream come true. It's, it's been one of the best inventions, or no, well, technically the MagSafe connector had been around. For, what the fuck is this Cadillac doing? He's in two lanes. Okay, now he's back in one. Technically, the MagSafe connector was around. What the shit? Are you drunk? The MagSafe connector's been around since like decades for in the Asian cookware market. Now, if you ever go to like an Asian store, you'll see a lot of things have a, a magnetic connector. But when Apple introduced it into the, compu the computer market, it was revolutionary, right? Now, I could live without having a MagSafe charger on a computer, yeah. The operating system is nice enough for that. But then, when you add on all the other factors, the fact that you can't replace or upgrade your own RAM, that computer is designed to be obsolete in less than five years. Honestly, I think that's what it is. And Apple has been using planned obsolescence for quite a while. Like, they've used their operating system, their recent updates, to uh, make a whole bunch of computers fall to the wayside, including my uh, Pandaren MacBook Pro and my 2008 Mac Pro. Now, compared to most other computers on the market today, they're still pretty impressive. I got 6 gigs of RAM and a 2.8 gigahertz processor in my MacBook Pro. And I think it's also a 2.8, but I'm running, what, 64 gigs of RAM in my, my Mac Pro? I mean, there are lots of computers that were made back in 2008 that can't even handle 64 gig. Like, 64 gig is a beast ton of RAM. And it's always been enough for me to do my things. And the simple fact of the matter is, Apple computers have always held up so well that Apple has started to use planned obsolescence to try and sell more units. Now, I don't have the kind of money to buy a new computer every time the new model comes out. I just don't. My current computer is almost eight years old. Well, two of my computers are almost eight years old. And the simple fact of the matter is, to, to have a computer in which the company is making it obsolete, not by the merit of the machine, but simply the design of the machine, is kind of ridiculous. I mean, the reason I keep my Penryn around is because I can upgrade... I can replace things on my Penryn MacBook Pro. Th this is before the RAM started to get soldered to the motherboard. I don't think my processor is soldered to the motherboard. I'm pretty sure it's not. And I, that, to me, gives the computer so much more merit than some of these later models. Many of these later model computers 
if something breaks, it's a pain to pull them apart. I mean, who in the hell epoxies a piece of glass on the computer? Like, it's almost as, I understand that they're going for the most thinnest and lightest machine, but I don't want the thinnest and lightest machine. I want the most functional, the most powerful machine. I want a machine that'll last me a while. I want a machine with capability and merit other than its design. And granted, Apple design is amazing, right? Apple design has always been amazing. If you look at those cheese grater MacBook Pros, even today they look good. And another thing is, Apple's not advancing fast enough for me to want to stay with Apple. And I feel like this whole ma maximization of plans absolutely. I feel like this whole like maximization of their plans obsolescence is going to be the downfall of Apple. Like if you guys remember, I think it was like what the 90s or 80s, but be Apple was going through a rough patch, much like they are going through now. And they had Ch Steve Jobs to save them back then. Like Apple, you really have to innovate. That I have to buy a dongle if I want to do anything, but everything has to be hooked on externally. And yes, the aesthetics are, are nice, but the aesthetics aren't worth me losing all that functionality. I wonder what time it is. I gotta fix this clock on my bike. It's one thing to note. I am an Apple fanboy, yes. I will, I do have a preference to Apple products, but I'm not the kind of fanboy who's gonna stay with them if their products are subpar. And that's what's been happening with the new MacBook Pro. They're not for the pro user anymore. They're just for, somebody who uses a computer for regular things but wants to be called pro the mac pros are they used to be computers that you know you could use in a professional aspect and here's the thing microsoft is beating them in that aspect have you seen their new studio that thing is beautiful honestly the new imac should be touchscreen and should be usable as an easel if Apple wants to learn something from anybody, they should start observing what Microsoft is doing. And another thing, the iPad Pro, what the fuck is that? The only reason I own a tablet is one, to watch videos while I poop, and two, for my nephew to be entertained. That's it. Granted, I watch a lot of videos while I poop, and I could be considered a professional watching video while I pooper. But still, it's it's not worth making an iPad Pro that runs the same operating system. Now, if it ran the PC heart, the PC operating system and had similar tech specs, then yeah, I could see calling it a Pro. Seriously, Prius, and you're not electric. Your car is not electric. The Prius driver taking up electric charging spots. My main problem with the new MacBook is the fact that you have to use dongles and that it's kind of gimmicky compared to its predecessor. Like yes, the touch bar can be useful at some points, but why not just give users a full touch screen? Do what Asus, Microsoft, a ton of other companies have been doing for years. They had a missed opportunity. The MacBook itself has a reputation for being a creator-driven device for a productive work machine. You know how many graphic designers I know that would have loved to have the capability to draw on the MacBook screen? I know two guys that have migrated to the Microsoft Surface already.